I'm PJ Morrison, and this is 10 Things I Hate About My Terminator Cobra. Alright, number one on the list of things that I don't like about my Terminator is obviously the gas mileage. This thing drinks up gas bad. I mean, and it doesn't help with me having a heavy foot as I do. I mean, I just like the thrill of acceleration. Who doesn't? It just seems like every day or every other day, I gotta put gas in this thing. I guess that's the perk of having a V8. Next up on the list of things that could be better about my car is obviously the brakes. I think it comes with two piston brakes and some not so good pads if you're gonna be doing some spirited driving. So that's definitely something I would recommend changing out, at least the pads. Uh-oh, watch out now. Something bad under the hood of this thing. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's stock. There is an Eden supercharger under here. Everything else is basically stock. I have a cold air intake like I previously stated. That leads me on to my third thing. And this thing gets heat soaked pretty quickly. It's all, it's still fast or whatever, and it still has a lot of torque, but you could just tell whenever it's cutting boost. And I don't ever want to cut boost. This is actually one of the only times I ever opened this trunk. But I do have one nitpicky thing to say about it. It's just too small. You could barely fit one large and one medium size suitcase. You probably can't fit either one of them in here. I had to bring my girlfriend to the airport recently and she had a lot of trouble fitting her one suitcase back here. I wouldn't recommend taking this on long trips unless you're just gonna put things in the back seat. I always do that. Also, the trunk has no button. I either have to use my clicker to open it or my key, because there's a keyhole back here, or there is one button in the console on the passenger side, and it's just a hassle opening that every time I need to get in the trunk. Another nitpicky thing that I don't seem to like about this car is that the shifter is way up here. And it's it's just, at first, you're, it's in an uncomfortable position and you're gonna have to get used to it. But me driving this car for several months, I got pretty used to it. And that leads me on to the next thing. The reverse is super hard to get into. I don't know why, but when other people drive my car, like my cousins or something, they always say that they couldn't get into reverse or my reverse is broken. And it's not that, it's just that you have to put a little force into it. That's all. While I'm in here, I might as well tell you guys, these cup holders, I mean, they're good size and everything and you can take this middle thing out for larger cups, but they're in the way of my shifting. If you have anything bigger than, let's say a water bottle or something, then it's just gonna interfere with my shifting and that's it. And water bottles usually have to be in the second one back just because like the shifter is down lower and the first hole is very close to the shifter. So I guess that's what it costs to own this car. And last but not least is the prices. The prices for this car can get pretty steep and they just aren't the same as if you were buying it for a V6 or a GT of this model year. A lot of things are basically the same part. And I just can't see that it costs that much more for this car as opposed to another version of this car. I mean, it is an 03 and there should be some kind of leeway for the prices. But that's just my opinion, being nitpicky and whatnot. Yeah, that just about sums up this 10 things I hate about my Terminator Cobra. I had to be nitpicky with a lot of things, but I'm sure you guys understand. It's a great car, and I wouldn't put anything past it. I wouldn't trade this car in unless something just happens to go terribly left. But other than that, I love the car. It's a great car. Great platform to build on, too. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. We want everybody to be part of the Marston Project. 
it's a movement, you know? And I challenge you guys to go on and do 10 things that you hate about your cars. And let me know, tag me in the comments or something. If you have any friends that are thinking about getting this car and just don't know what they won't like about it, tell them to just get it. They'll like it. But share this video with them and give them some insight on some things that they might not like. Just because it's an older car or just some things that I see that others may not or something like that. Alright you guys, thanks for watching this video. And remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. Thanks for watching. Can I get with y'all? Can I get with y'all? Can I get with y'all? Why you wanna get with me?